Hi and welcome to Jowd's Academy. Today's lesson is about evaluating limits and here's a, an excellent example as limit of x approaches 0 we have in bracket x plus 8 to the power of 1 third subtract 2 all over x. The first thing we do to evaluate let's use direct substitution. So if I were to substitute for x 0 here and here I will end up having 0 over 0. So to, have, to avoid zero in the bottom, we need to simplify. Since it's a higher root than the square root, we use change of variable. Change of variable, what I mean is we got to let y represent the higher root here, which is going to be x plus 8 to the power of 1 third. And then we're going to go ahead and isolate for x in order to change the variable here whatever we get here. So in order to isolate for x, we get getting rid of this one third. To bring the one third the other side would be y to the power of three equals x plus eight. Now to get x by itself, we have y to the power of three minus eight equal to x. Now we can completely change the variable in this rational function right here. So to do that, we go ahead, we write as limit of x. So instead of x, we know we said x is equal to y cubed minus 8. So we'd say y cubed minus 8 approaches 0. And then what we have, instead of x plus 8 to the power of 1 third, we say we have to let y be that. So we substitute instead of that, we substituting y minus 2 all over x. And we said x is y cubed minus 8. So this is how we change completely the variables. Instead of x, everything in terms of y. Now to do that, now we should be able to simplify because we couldn't do simplify higher root than the square root. Well, yes, if it was a square root, we would have done rationalization. Since it's a higher root than the square root, we use change of variable. Please keep that in mind. Since we, do, since we did that, now we should be able to simplify. So we apply a different set of cubes here. And at the same time, we're going to get y by itself on this side here. So it would be as limit of y should approach is 2. Because if I bring the negative 8 the other side, it would be positive 8. And cube root of positive 8 would be 2. So we got y by itself. y approaches 2. And here we have y minus 2. And then we factor the bottom. This is a difference of cube factoring. Hoping you remember the difference of cube if we were to have uh, a cube minus b cube. And how did we factor this? We said it's going to be a minus b. Then we have a squared plus ab plus b to the power of 2. That's a difference of cube factoring. a would be y and b would be 2 in this case. So we have then y minus 2 and then we have y squared which is a squared plus a times b which is 2y plus 4 which is 2 squared b squared. Now we should be able to simplify so we rewrite as limit of y approaches 2 let me push just a little bit up so you can see as limit of y approaches 2 what we have now once we simplify getting rid of y minus 2 from the bottom and top so it goes once so we have 1 over y squared plus 2y plus 4. Now we should be able to substitute for y2 in the bottom. So we left with 1 over 12. And this is how we evaluate these type of limits. I'm hoping that this was very useful for yourself. Please try this example a few times and then apply to your homework. So don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any question or concern, below in comment box leave your comment and i should be able to get back to you as soon as i can and other than that wish you all the very best good luck to you